So now that Mental Health Awareness Month is over, I've had some of you request that I talk about Pride Month. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about this Catholic priest who's spitting some straight up nonsense. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community or pop culture or just in the world in general and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, I was just on Twitter and I saw my boy Todd from This Offends Me TV. He retweeted out a tweet from this Catholic priest. But before I move forward, make sure you follow me on Twitter, at The Rewired Soul, but go check out Todd's channel, This Offends Me TV. If you like really vulgar humor, Todd is the dude to watch, all right? I'll link his channel down in the description below. But anyways, he retweeted this Catholic priest who tweeted this out. A reminder that Catholics should not support or attend LGBTQ Pride Month events held in June. They promote a culture and encourage activities that are contrary to Catholic faith and morals. They are especially harmful for children. Yeah, that's right, you heard that right. And if you're like me, you just did a massive eye roll. But somebody else came back and kind of clapped back at him and they shared a very real story. So this woman states, when I was a kid, my Catholic bishop rotated four known child molesters through my hometown parish. At least two molested more kids while stationed there. He then fought against removing child molesters from their parish positions at the bishop's conference in 2002. Later, he fought against New York State Legislature relaxing the statute of limitations so victims could come forward later in life and see their accusers face justice. But anyway, please tell me more about the Catholic Church's philosophy on what is harmful to children. I just remember turning on the TV, turning it to Channel 3, which was C-SPAN, which was the television station we flipped to in order to prepare the VCR. I was going to pop in some movie, and there was Bishop Howard Hubbard arguing against removing sex offenders. I was preparing for my confirmation that year. The priest I confessed my sins to in preparation for the sacrament was removed by the time the confirmation ceremony came around. He had been a child molester. I was 16. I will never forget that moment that year. It's burned into my mind the way 9-11 was the previous autumn. The men I was told were the moral arbitrators of what was right and wrong were intentionally putting kids like me in danger and at risk, and no one held them responsible but tell me more how displays of love and promotions of tolerance and peace are wrong. So then, then you think it's over, but this other Catholic priest decides to hop in and try to throw down some sass by saying this, I'm glad you're safe, but it appears that if you did get confirmed, it doesn't seem to have done any good. Like, are you serious right now? So first off, first off, like this is something that ugh, I don't wanna put a blanket statement. Like I do not think inherently religion is wrong. I am not religious, all right? But I don't think religion itself is wrong, but people make it really crappy, right? Like when stuff like this comes out from like high up people in the church, especially the Catholic church, which we'll touch on in a second, like it turns people off from church, right? Like think about it at least from my perspective, when I started going to the Mormon church here in Las Vegas when I was growing up, although I wasn't gonna be converted Mormon, even though I thought about it for a second, because all my friends were Mormon, my girlfriend was Mormon, but anyways, I would attend church sometimes with my best friend or with my girlfriend, and the Mormon church isn't too friendly towards the LGBT community at times as well. Now, again, this is not all Mormons, but it is some Mormons, and that was enough to turn me away from that. And there's some borderline racism that I encountered, and being half black, I wasn't cool with that either. But, like, if I'm going to follow a religion, I want to follow something that's going to be tolerant, right? That, that respects people as people and promotes love and kindness and happiness, right? Not like discriminates against different people. So when priests like this come out and say stuff like that, like it really turns people like me and some of you away from any kind of religion, all right? But addressing the elephant in the room, this fool, like, this, like you gotta have some audacity 
to be a member of the Catholic Church and publicly tweet out about what's harmful for children, all right? I do not have enough time in this video to cover all of the scandals that the Catholic Church has been involved in in regards to children, all right? So when this woman shared her story and some other priest wants to come in there and sass her about it, it is absolutely mind-blowing to me, all right? like. The thing that kind of is crazy as well is that Pope Francis, like the guy, the dude, you know, big hat and everything, like he defends LGBTQ rights, all right? So in this article from cruxnow.com, it says, once a homosexual identity is quote unquote set, Francis said, a homosexual man or woman has the right to a family and that father and mother have the right to a son or daughter come as it may and no son or daughter can be thrown out of the home all right so this article i'm also going to link it down below because this was on the back of like a controversial statement that pope francis said but anyways one of the one of the cool things about pope francis is like hey Hey man, if you if you fall in love with somebody of the same sex and you identify as homosexual, like do your thing, baby. And like, that's the thing, like you guys, like I will just never understand. I will never understand like people who care way too much about things that literally do not affect them, right? Like for example, we're here in Las Vegas, nicknamed Sin City. So what was it, a, a, a couple weeks ago, my beautiful girlfriend and I went to a comedy show down on the strip, and this happens sometimes on the strip, but some people go out there with their little like pickets, and they're just like have a megaphone, and they're screaming about how everybody's going to hell, and they need to repent, and all these other things, right? And I'm just like, why? Why are you doing this? Like, do you believe that you cannot get to heaven unless you scream at people and explain to them how they're going to hell. And you know what, I have another question. Like, how often do you think that's worked? Tristan, do you think that's ever worked in the history of any, screaming at somebody in a megaphone? Like, has that ever happened where somebody's just like, you're going to hell and you're like, oh my God, I need to turn my life around. Like, do they have any studies on this? Somebody, if you're watching this and you like to do studies, Go find out, help me survey people and see if that has ever been an effective way to get somebody to join the church because I don't think that's it. But anyways, again, like I wish more people in the church who do this, again, not everybody in the church, but people in the church who do things like this would recognize that it is turning away a lot of people by just acting like a fool denouncing like the LGBTQ community. You see what I mean? Like. Like, there is no reason, like, two men falling in love does not affect anybody. Two women falling in love does not affect anybody. If you guys want to watch a really interesting kind of back and forth, check out the Joe Rogan podcast the last time he had Ben Shapiro on there, because Joe Rogan will challenge Ben Shapiro on Ben Shapiro's views on gay marriage and the legality of it, right? But yeah, like Obama signed into law that gay marriage is legal, like across the board, and it literally does not affect anybody. Like, in my opinion, we should be promoting people falling in love and finding the right partner. Like, divorce rates are insanely high. Like, they're like 50%. Like, so if these couples like actually fall in love and stay together, good for them. It doesn't affect me, it doesn't affect you. So why are people wasting their time and their breath on this? But then you have a priest like this, or multiple priests, this is the only one I saw, just because Todd retweeted it, but like, they're telling other people that they need to condone, condone this. Like, whatever happened to like, loving people and just appreciating what they're doing. Like, my, here's one of my rules for life, one of my personal rules for life. If you are happy and you're not hurting anybody, do your thing, baby girl. That is Chris's life philosophy. If you're not hurting anybody, just keep doing your thing, all right? But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this topic down in the comments below. Happy Pride Month to everybody out there. Um, but anyways, if there's any other topics that you want me to touch on for Pride Month, like I have some ideas in mind such as addiction in the LGBTQ community, mental health issues, suicide rates, things like that. If those are videos you would like to see this month, let me know down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, 
video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And while you're at it, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, support what I'm doing here, click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.